Good day my fellow tech tubers. Are you currently on Windows 11 but it is running slow? Or, it is just running okay but you wanted to make it run faster and smoother? Worry no more. I am going to provide you today some tips to make your Windows 11 run faster and smoother. What are you waiting for? Let's jump straight to the process. To begin with, we'll have to check first our current system's performance. Here, we can see that we just started our system and it shows its current performance. After completing the system optimization, we will then compare the results before and after the tweaking. We can also see here the number of processes and the amount of RAM our system is using. Our goal is to reduce the number of running processes and to lessen the RAM usage. This will help increase system's performance and will be great for intensive workload and gaming. This will also help if you have a low memory and CPU core system. Let's go ahead and get the kit we needed. Let's open a browser and go to the GitHub repo of Richard Newton. We are going to use his Windows 10 Debloater tool. This is the tool we are going to use to optimize our Windows 11 to make it run smoother and faster. If you'd like to make any donation to his work, just simply click the buy me a coffee in his page. To start using this tool, we are going to run PowerShell with admin rights. Then, we need to run this command to enable unrestricted execution in PowerShell. Once this is done, we need to scroll down to the quick download part and copy the link provided. Paste the link in PowerShell and run it. It will first download the program. Once download is complete, it will run the program automatically. Here, we can see that after the program is downloaded, it will automatically create a system restore point. This is to ensure that you will have something to restore if in case a problem occurs after the tweaking. If ever that you have already created a restore point just recently, the program will no longer create a new one for you. This is the debloater program. Here, we can see lots of options that can be done to help increase the speed of our operating system. Under the bloat options, you will have two options in removing bloatwares in our system. One of the option is the remove all bloatwares. In this option, the program will remove all pre-selected MS applications. You can also check in the repo all those apps that are going to be removed by default. The second option is remove bloatwares with custom block list. Here, you can customize your block list apps and choose what apps you want to remove or to retain. Once you are done with your custom list, Save it and exit the custom list menu. 
Then, if you choose to remove bloat weighers with your custom block list, this is the option you have to select. Since I am not using any of those apps listed in the bloatware list, I will then select the first option. Here, you will see the process being done by the tool. Your system might become unresponsive. Just let it complete the process. Once completed, you can then proceed to select any of these additional options. Since I am not using these apps or functions, I will remove most of them. I will disable Cortana, OneDrive and Telemetry task. I am also going to remove all the bloatware registry keys. Just click each buttons and wait for the task to complete. Once all the tasks are done, you have completed the first set of the process. You can close this program now. Now, the next process is to improve the startup time of our system. Head to the task manager, then select startup. Here you will see all of the programs that runs as soon as your system starts up. Just select the program you want to disable from your startup menu. Right click on it and select disable. Do the same thing to other programs that are not necessary on the startup. These disabled programs can be run later once you need them. As soon as you complete this task, Close the task manager and then restart your system to apply all the changes. We're now back after restarting the system. Let us now check our system's performance and compare it to our previous result before all the tweaks are applied. Here, we can see that we have just started our system just like earlier. Now, these are the results of our system's performance after we optimized it. Let us now compare it to our previous result before we tweak the system. Wow! This is amazing! We can see more than 20 processes were taken out and about than 22% is reduced on the RAM usage. This is a huge improvement and does confirm that the tweaks we applied earlier are working. This tweak is applied to a newly installed Windows 11. Yet, we can see great improvements in it. How much more will it improve on your current Windows 11, that probably has a lot of processes running? and bunch of unnecessary startup programs. That's it for today. We've just accomplished another episode of Tech Tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you are new to my channel, 
please don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. Thank you everyone and I will see you again on my next upload. And as always, keep safe and have a great day.